No, we have some distinguished guests. These are these are national champs right here. Division two women's soccer national champs sitting right next to me. Megan Doyle, everyone's all American. Did you make every all American team first team? I think you did in Division two. I uh, think so. I yeah. think so. Yes, she did. I know so. Alyssa Sampson, you might remember her from her days playing uh, girls soccer at Ledger High School, now part of this national championship team. And uh, a guy who played his college soccer and now coaching, what, 20 years now at, at, at University of Bridgeport, Magnus Millerud, uh, the head coach, bringing University of Bridgeport its first ever national championship. Coach, why don't you start by telling us you were telling me earlier just what a surreal weekend it was. You guys went out to Pittsburgh and played in the Final Four. Yeah, yeah, it's been uh, um, it's been a crazy 72 hours to say the least, and especially the week that we were out in uh, Pittsburgh. Um, fantastic experience with the Four Festival that they uh, that they put together. Um, everything around there, the stadium, um, everything was was almost like All Stars Align. And when you talk about that, you, you talk about your first game against uh, UC San Diego. Yeah. Um, uh, we had a, we had a game plan. They're a very very good team, very athletic team. We had a game plan. The kids executed perfectly, um, you know. And I and I think we we played them played them off the park for portions of the game. And they were the defending national champs, right? They won it, I believe, eight or nine times uh, in previous years. Was there girls? Was there any sort of uh, feeling of well, they've done it, we we haven't. Although <laughs> not there, <but laughs> we'll, we'll talk. I mean, it's hard to ignore that. Megan, do you, are you a gymnast or? Uh, I did do gymnastics until I was about six or seven, so that was the first sport. Uh, but yeah, let's getting back to, to, to this victory and, and the whole experience. You're, you guys' first opportunity to be in the final four. Uh, you know, from pressure comes diamonds, so you must, you must not have felt anything, right? Well, we had momentum going in, and we knew as long as we did what we had to do, we had game plans, we knew any game in the Final Four, was, they're all good teams. Uh -huh. So we knew what we had to do. Obviously, there's pressure, but we, we knew we just had to play and enjoy it because we'd had pressure leading up to then, so much pressure in Bloomsburg, playing there. So going into the Final Four, the pressure was a little bit off, and it was just time to enjoy it. Play. So, so uh, you guys, listen, you guys have had, had great success and you've built up a reputation as being a national soccer power at the Division Two level. So, yes, UC San Diego may have won and have been there, but you guys had too. Was there a confidence? Take us through that, that, that championship game. Was there that, this confidence going in against a team that really looked good in that other semifinal, right? That, what did they win? 3 nothing in yeah. that other semifinal. Mm -hmm. But did you guys go in and say, we, we, we know we're the team to beat? Oh, definitely. Like... I got playing them in the beginning of the season really gave us some motivation to want to come and perform our best and we definitely did like it was such a experience to watch and be on the field with like all of them and it was it was crazy there's the goal the only goal of the game i think we were rooted as the underdog as well by a lot of people they ruled us out early mm -hmm. doors and i think for us that was just more motivation so it was even it was even better moment when we did win, but there definitely was a confidence in the locker room before we had a team talk. We we said before we left we wasn't there to participate; we was there to win the whole thing. And I think some people took it lightly, but not us. Yeah. Well, Magnus, was there an aha moment for for you or for anybody in this program? We when you, at some point in the season you realized that this was. A strong possibility? Uh, not that this is a strong possibility, but there's a lot of aha moments throughout the year that you pick out where you you, you can kind of see where the, where the season is taking on, and you know where the team is kind of just start to kind of mold as something very very special, um, you know. And then going in, especially to the third round and the quarter final, I think, and even the the final four, I thought they were so unbelievably relaxed that it, it was almost like this, this could this is going to happen. This is going to happen. You guys were presented with the, the key to the city by the mayor, Mayor Ganim of Bridgeport, presenting you with the key to the city. Has it sunk in now how special this has all been and with the fanfare that comes with winning a national championship? I don't know. No. It hasn't at all. I don't, we haven't <laughs> even had time to like think. Like the yeah. support has been overwhelming. Our school, families, friends, alumni, like everyone has been so, so good like it hasn't sunk in the 72 hours has been crazy and i think it will continue to be like that for a while so 
Well, congratulations. It's, it's, it's tremendous. It's not only great for the University of Bridgeport, it's, it's great for the state of Connecticut. And uh, I know that means a lot to, to you guys and now for you because yeah. you may be from the Liverpool area, <laughs> but now you, you are officially from Connecticut now. Like it or second not. Second home, second home. <laughs> it is the National Champions Division II Women's Soccer University of Bridgeport soccer team. Thank you guys so much for coming in and congratulations. Savor this. Thank you Not so much. Not all the people win a national Thank championship. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be right back.